So this is our uh, RC paraglider. Um, we have a DC brushless motor on here that powers this propeller to um, provide thrust by inflating this parachute um, that lifts up um, the entire system. To control our paraglider, we have a servo motor on the back that controls the back of the parachute to manipulate it going left or right. And we also have an electronic speed controller, or ESC, to control the speed of the uh, of the motor. Uh, powering this whole system, we have a beagle bone um, with uh, doing the main processing on on board with the built-in IMU. And we also have an ESP32 to read the data from a radio and convert that over to UART for the beagle bone to read in. Um, we also have a 3S battery to power um, the DC brush the DC brushless motor and the onboard systems. All right, I'm gonna talk more about our controller and radio control system that we use for the paraglider. So here we have our controller, which has another ESP32 on it um, and two joysticks. When we uh, read in the analog value of the joysticks with an ADC and then process that information on the ESP32 and uh, convert it to digital information, which is then sent over the uh, 915 megahertz radio, and it's sent there using SPI. Um, then this radio connects to another radio on board here um, that is the same 915 megahertz signal, and it uses AES-256 encryption between the two endpoints. Um, then we have this ESP32 on here that reads in the data over SPI from this radio, processes that information and then sends it along to the beagle bone over UR so that the, the uh, beagle bone can be controlled and, and control the steering for the paraglider. So now I'm going to talk about the paraglider steering. Uh, so first we have our auto stabilization that reads in the yaw value of the um, gyroscope and um, corrects to try to keep the paraglider flying straight. So uh, when we turn to the right, it pulls down on the left side, which causes it to steer back to the left and stay in a straight line. And when it turns to the left, that pulls down on the right side, causing it to steer back right and try to stay in a straight line. Now I'm gonna show you the steering from the controller. So uh, as you can see, when I turn uh, the control stick to the right or left, it pulls down on the right or left. Uh, and tries to hold that position. And so it actually is adjusting what the center yaw value is. So um, it's essentially telling it which different straight line to follow. <laughs> Two, one, we're going. Oh, I put 